hey guys welcome or welcome back to our channel i'm bella and i'm ruby and we're the owners of love and co candles we make lifestyle content of the behind the scenes of our candle business and entrepreneurship today we're going to take you along with us as we prepare to launch our spring and summer line let's get into it so to start off i needed to make a couple testers I needed to make one candle as well as two room sprays, so I'm just starting by cleaning my jar. This is the scent that I'm going to be testing today. It's Olive Leaf and Citron by Candle Science. I went ahead and poured my wax. I'm just doing a 5 ounce candle so I didn't need a ton of wax. Just using my small pouring pitcher. I tested the temperature, of course, and I was ready to go ahead and pour my fragrance oil. This was a horrible pour. Don't pay any mind to that. And then I'm ready to go ahead and stir that up for two minutes until everything is combined. Once that was all combined, I was ready to go ahead and pour that into my vessel. And since this is just a tester, I'm going to go ahead and put the wick in after so that I don't have to waste a wick with. I waited just a couple minutes for the wax to set up a little bit so that the wick would stand on its own. And we'll let that sit for about a day before we burn it to test the smell. Next, I wanted to get started on the two room sprays that I wanted to make. The first one is going to be that same scent that we just made the candle in, which is the olive leaf and citron. I don't know why I wrote sample on the, on the labels. They're just testers. I'm starting out with my alcohol, and this is a new alcohol that we're trying out from Macy. We wanted to see how we liked it. And and also if it was similar to the other alcohol that we typically use. Next, I'm going in with my polysorbate. And of course, our fragrance oil. Once I have that in there, I'm just going to mix it until it turns clear and that polysorbate is completely combined with the other ingredients. And then I was ready to go ahead and pour that into my tester jar. I also wanted to go ahead and put a label on the candle so that I don't forget what it is as well as trim the wick because it's pretty much set up at this point. This is the second scent that I wanted to make a room spray tester with. This is Orange Creamsicle from Candle Science. And I'm just going to repeat the same steps that I did on the last room spray, except I'm using our normal alcohol that we've always used. This was somewhat of a better pour, still not perfect. It's hard to get it out of these tiny little bottles. <laughs> and then that was ready to be bottled as well. Once again, don't know why I put sample. It's supposed to say tester, but 
Same difference. And there's my two testers. So now, trying to do a flat lay, I want to get all of the corners. And start with the greenery. I want to try to keep the color balance. Even though I know that some of the flowers might not make it in the picture. And keep a little bit of each color in each corner. And I really like all of these flowers. Pick them out really nice. The next thing I like to put on the board are the candles that I'm planning on photographing. These are for spring launch. So we dress the, the tops with a mini flower wax box. But with the spring theme. to do things in odd numbers I think that's the best way to decorate we'll shoot with the three candles add a few more embellishments such as some ribbon and a candle snuffer quick trimmers this gold pin carries on the cover play with it until it looks right to you and so we would start there and start shooting move the candles around try and see if this looks better does this look better right next to this one and then when you're shooting, you're gonna get different angles, see what's gonna be the best look like. Next, you can add in the room sprays. Sometimes we'll have labels on them, sometimes we keep them without labels just so that we can add them on at a different time or different scents. Sometimes I'll have things just kinda hanging off the side And our smaller room spray. Let's see the size comparison. I take the lid off. Okay, so this shot in itself could be year round, seasonal. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be seasonal. But if it is a feminine brand that you have, can definitely use this for any point. The one thing that we will start doing uh, now to kind of go with our spring theme is start adding the wax melts that we've made. So I have a box of wax melts. So what we do is when we test out candles, uh, when we have leftover wax, we will take that leftover wax, melt it down, pour it into our wax melt molds. And that way we don't waste any wax. But then we also get sample wax melts that we can use in our photos. Lay them around and see where you like how they go. And just make adjustments from there. And as you can see, it can kind of be kind of hanging off the edge. 
have some that had a little bit of color. Got some flower ones. And you'll want to make sure you fill your whole board out kind of throughout even the the back areas because if you do a full overview then you don't want to have any missing missing spots. And then one thing that we want to add are these rosebuds. They're actually for baking and tea. They look really nice in the picture. They're just dried rosebuds. It's nice to have a mixture of the faux flowers as well as some real. Just sprinkle them in. And the great thing is, if you don't like the placement of anything, just move it around. So you like where it is. Keep looking over it what your shot call look like and so now this is giving very spring but again it could also be easily just a very floral brand so if you were doing floral scents this would be a good way to portray that in your flat lay so now if you wanted to continue on with spring and perhaps you were going to do a little more seasonal and you could do easter what we have are these little porcelain baskets. I believe I got these at the dollar store. And then these are little candies, like Easter eggs. So you could kind of take the colors that are a little more reflective of your board so far and sprinkle a few of those in. And if it's too bright or vivid when you go in to look at them, you can always edit them to a little more muted. We also saw these eggs. They and thought these would be a nice addition. Varying sizes. Now you've made your board a little more seasonal to go with Easter and then even the little basket and add that to a corner so it just implies that there is a little Easter basket there and now when you shoot this from overhead you've got spring Easter field to your overlay you can take candles out if you have a nice label, you can lay a candle on the side, give a side profile. Now, it's your flat lay. So that's everything that we have for you guys. We hope that you enjoyed watching, and we hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.